Hey everyone. Okay, I said I would make a video on how to use up your old washi tape that you were, it's all dried up and you were going to throw it out. I was going to throw mine out too. And just before I did, I thought, okay, I already paid for you, paid for this. So before I throw you out, I'm going to see if I can make something out of it. I, ha I hadn't used it at all and I tried to rip this stuff off and it, it just not working. So the other day, this is what I made with it. That's what I made with it right there. A little tag and it's really pliable. It's almost like leather. This has been sitting here for a few days and inked it up. I put some uh, cotton thread around it, put a little stamp on here. So that's kind of what I'm going to make today and show you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I took my X-Acto knife and you got to be really careful. This, this is about maybe 10 layers or so. I think I got two. I, this was split, I think, in two. So all I did was cut... A few times the same spot gotta be careful okay and then with your fingernails try to get a head start on that there we go that's not bad I also grabbed some pliers to make it easier and this is kind of hard to take apart like there's, I tried to put it in the micro, <clears throat> sorry, the microwave. I tried to soak it in hot water. Nothing was working. And I just threw it back in the drawer and left it there for another few months. And then I decided, no, no, I've got to figure out something. So I pulled it apart and I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. It kind of feels like leather. I thought, well, what could I do with this? So... I got just a little bit of gesso, just a few drops of that, rubbed it on top, and then <clears throat> I grabbed some acrylic ink after that stuff, after the gesso uh, dried. I used some acrylic ink and I just barely put anything on. There's two colors on here, a little bit of green, a little bit of gold. And I let that dry, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, didn't take long. And then I used my Cropodile to punch holes around it, like that. And then I just used some of those little cotton threads I found at Dollarama, or you can probably get these at Dollar Tree. This is white, and I'm going to use some black here. So I used, I think, the small hole for this. And I also grabbed my cheap ones here, and they actually worked too. I was surprised. They worked as well. So if that's all you have, then that's all you use. Okay, so then after I did this, I kind of straightened it out a little bit here. You don't have to, but I wanted to. <laughs> And this has been sitting on my desk for a few days and it's still really pliable and it's still sticky on the other side, right? So after I did that, actually a few minutes ago, <laughs> I decided to do a little bit of stamping on it. Maybe add, do, just do something different and just to use a stamp like that. And then, what else did I do? Oh, then I cut one a little bit shorter, or narrower rather. And this is the one I wanted to try to make. I think I wanna make just a little hole. I want this as a dangle to add to all the dangles on the, the edge of my, um, my journal when I'm done. So I'm just gonna mark a little hole there. And 
Let's try the bigger hole here. And then put this in here. I don't do these very often, so hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Yep, I did it. So you could use a string and tie that to your journal or just like on the edge and just, you know, swing it around. Or you can use a bulb pin. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pretty much just leave this in a, usually stuff that I've, little trinkets that I've made, I usually just kind of put them in here and use them for later. It's a different one that I made. That's just out of cardboard. But I'll use this for, for you know, like a dangle on the edge of the journal. And um, we'll just leave it at that. So this is tape, washi tape, that I was going to throw in the garbage. Why not? We all work with junk, so why not try and work with the junk that you were just about to throw out? At least give it a chance to turn it into something before you completely give up, right? So, um, yeah, so I did this. And it's not quite dry. It's not quite dry, but that'll make a nice little stamp. Just make it smaller here, or just square, more square, square. -er. You could put fabric on the back of this if you want, and then glue it down, or you can just glue it down. So here's a longer one I made out of this was all out of the same roll. This is out of a new roll. And then I just grabbed my thread. And I'm just going to go around. wasn't too smart. One at a time, I guess. It's a little sticky on the back still, so that's why it's kind of catching. hand I have a, a box of ephemera I've been working on throughout the year just little bits and pieces and we all know what ephemera is and I did find one piece that would actually look good on here Okay, so um, I think I'm going to leave it like this here, but I'm going to put a big blob of glue here later so that it stays. So that's what it looks like now. And I love these wrinkles in here. So let's just pretend it's adhered. So I found this that I made quite a long time ago. This is a piece of black leather green fabric, uh, corrugated cardboard, and just a little piece of uh, cardstock with um, some numbers stamped on it. But it would look really nice here, right? It would look kind of cool. But I'm not going to glue that on there because I'm not quite sure if that's what I want to do. So I think we'll just leave it at that. So that is super cool, super easy to do. Um, Let's just show you what I can do, or what I did with the gesso. A little bit of glare there. Um, I 
guess it's not too difficult, right? Just a couple drops of gesso. And I just used my, did I use my finger? I think I used a, I think I used a brush, but you can use your finger too, right? Use pretty light touch here, or not as much gesso, not that much gesso. So you can kind of still see the design underneath. Like that so we can let that dry and then paint it stamp it punch some holes in it you can cut these down obviously like I showed you before the little one um, and with this size here I could probably get about three out of here and just put them throughout your journal and it really does feel like leather it feels like leather it's super cool anyway don't throw out your washi tape but don't let it all go bad use your washi tape when it's good um yeah super fun let me know what you think i like it i think it's cool thanks for watching See you next time.